Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel once again. So today we are going to start uh, the series of 6 standard science for the preparation of our seated exam which is in December 2024 and this will be on new syllabus. Yes, it is the science new syllabus for 6 standard and this is the first chapter. The name is the wonderful world of science. So let's begin. So if you see the name of the chapter only the wonderful world of science so you can guess here you will understand about the what type of world is there about the science first of all you will understand what is science and what exactly science it contains okay and here you are going to understand about the other streams of the science not only one that is a, a chemistry or a biology yes everything you will understand in this chapter so in the beginning only in this chap paragraph they have said that as a human beings we already have the curiosity about surroundings right why this is happening for example uh, the color of the sky why it is only the blue in color right okay why the water is not having the color why it is colorless so these are, they are having the scientific reasons okay they have some causes for that so now as you enter in middle stage we will continue this fascinating journey trying to explore and understand the beautiful world we live in right and for that we need to have a subject that is a new subject that is what science okay up till you understood about the evs that is environmental science but here you are going to start with a new subject that is a science so yes everyone welcome to the world wonderful world of science okay so what is science Science is a okay. Science here they have given the definition. See, science is a way of thinking, observing, and doing things to understand the world we live in and to uncover the secrets of universe. So think of it is a big adventure, right? We are going to understand, we are going to uncover some secrets about the universe. So we here, what you will do? You will ask questions, explore the world and try to understand how things work. And for that, this is the curiosity which the name of the textbook, which is where the title of this book comes from, that is curiosity, right? Now, whether it is studying tiny grains right, of sand or massive mountains, a leaf of a grass or a vast forest, there is always something new and exciting to discover. right? Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered why the stars shine only in the night? Or watched a flower bloom and wondered how it knows when to open? Yes, it knows. Did it have any timer that yes, I will open after two or three weeks only? No, there is a journey of everything and there is a cause for everything. Okay, so these are just a few of many mysteries that science help us to unravel means to reopen. The most wonderful thing about the science is what? It is that it is everywhere. Okay, from the depths of ocean to the vastness of outer space. From what is cooking in the kitchen and to what is happening on the playground. Some of most uh, groundbreaking discoveries have been often come from the unexpected places. So here you can see some pictures they have given about a mountainous region where you can understand about the mountains are there and also the forest is also there. And here this is about the desert and a coast. And next picture is is about the life of an under, underwater view of an ocean and a galaxy okay so do you think it is like a one big puzzle yes it is unending jigsaw puzzle every new discovery we make adds another piece to that puzzle and you know that the best thing about this puzzle there is no limit there is no end it is endless yes it is endless puzzle science is an endless puzzle okay so what we can discover since every piece of knowledge is leads to more questions and more things to find out yes isn't it curious like if you start from one point and you got 10 point and still still you know that there are 20 more points are remaining right so as you go through this book what you will understand you will encounter interesting ideas 
do some thought provo uh, provoking experiments and how some of, of what we will find out is useful in our daily lives okay so exactly this chapter is not that much important for your exam purpose but you will understand after reading this chapter that what exactly in the textbook okay and guess what happens as we discover more and more we start realizing that these ideas are all connected okay so what we will explore with the help of this book so we will start off by looking at our home that is planet earth and it is the only planet where that the which supports the life and it has an environment that we must protect there is amazing variety of life on earth plants and animals okay and that have managed to survive and thrive in different regions on this planet you can see caterpillar plants and animals okay you might have seen a seed grow into a plant a caterpillar transform into a into a beautiful butterfly and many more such observations how do these plants and animals grow of course to grow we need food to eat right especially large and diverse country like india food is so fascinating you can see all the recipes they have given here okay uh, across the country we have different cuisines with their many tasty dishes what are they made of how do we find out yes by their components so along with the food we need water to survive what is water is a such delightful substances means we are going to understand about the water here in this chap in this textbook have you ever run and jumped into a puddle when it rained yes do you ever wonder why and how it rains so we are going to learn about rain cycle or water cycle okay so have you noticed that water freezes and becomes ice when we cool it and boils yes also we are going to learn about the properties of water so do you enjoy drinking cool water in the summer or showering with warm water in the winter how do we understand hot and cold whether it is water or our own body temperature right when we have fever finding out how hot something is can be important right then again there are so many different things around us which are we can write on a paper on the metal key a plastic ruler and rubber eraser in our box the magnet that keeps the box closed so here we are going to understand about the magnet means we are going to learn about magnet even the clothes the cup we drink milk in so many other things so what are they made up of so are are these are made up of different materials how do we separate different materials from another so here also we are going to learn about separating materials okay maybe the chapter name is different next we will have an almost unending list of questions about everything on earth as we further explore this book but why limit our questions on the earth alone we can ask question to things beyond the earth that is other planets and stars the sun the moon and the million stars of millions of stars that shine in the sky whether you are learning about the structure of a leaf or discovering how things move or separating the skin of peanut seed we hope each chapter of this book will ignite your spirit of inquiry okay and hopefully you will have lots of question in your mind yes and this is good for you okay even though you may not have or uh, you may not realize it you have already been finding answers to many of your questions suppose your pen stops writing what would you do so you would ask yourself the question why did my pen stop writing yes because maybe the ink finished so you would then test this guess by opening the pen and checking the ink refill means what you are doing exactly you are checking the reason for that so in this way exactly this how this is work the science works and the way you try to find out why your pen stopped writing is an example that is called scientific method okay so science is not just about the memorizing facts like you no know, the ratification of the facts what you have learned in the le lesson you have to understand by doing the experiments so it is about following step by step process that helps us to find out answers to our questions so what are the steps that we can follow so here are the some 
steps are there first we have to observe then we have to question about it then we have to think about the possible answer and we have to test about according to that possible answer and again if you fail again you have to try the like analyze it with the results if not again do from first step so scientists are people who follow the scientific method to solve problems or discover new things but anyone who follow the scientific method is working like a scientist yes someone cooking food may be wondering why dal has spilled out of the cooker where there is too much water was there uh, was there too much water yes so this is you are checking the reasons think about the bicycle repair person trying to find out why uh, find out why a tire is flat because of the air leakage so all uh, these are also scientists so in this way we are going to understand yes in this chapter the first chapter only they have given about the why the science is important and how scientists are doing their work so let's see what exactly given in the next chapter and be with me while your preparation of the ctet exam thanks for watching